Hello, my name is Igor, and in this video I would like to talk about uh, storage vacuum bags, how, when and why to use them for the filament storage. For this you must understand first that uh, filaments can absorb moisture from the air. Now from the base materials, uh, some of them are less sensitive to this, like PLA or ABS. Usually I store them on uh, open air, but of course it depends where do you live. If you live in an area with high humidity, then definitely you should store PLA also in these bags. Uh, now most sensitive uh, materials for this are uh, PTG, nylon, well, or even TPU. For PTG this method works for me. Uh, when I open it from the box, uh, I use it for 3D printing, it's on open air during the printing. And when I finish the printing, I just use the regular resealable bag, put it inside, put some silica gel or different desiccant and close it. This is just a regular resealable bag. And this method works for me. And next time uh, I want to use it, then uh, I do, do the same. Uh, if you will notice some stringing or other problems with the PETG, then, then uh, no other choice, you have to dry it. But uh, it doesn't require so big temperature and uh, I already tested some most popular uh, filament dryers. Uh, you can see here the uh, thumbnail of the video. Uh, I also have some uh, box, new boxes, uh, filament dryers for waiting for a review. But nylon, nylon is uh, extremely sensitive to moisture. Uh, for drying of the nylon you need uh, 70 degrees Celsius at least and to dry it for, I don't know, 8 hours or even more. Uh, <laughs> those filament dryers, uh, which I already tested, uh, doesn't have that in uh, now the temperature for this. Uh, I will see if these new filament dryers will uh, be better and if they can provide that higher temperature. But um, that's the future. Well, for nylon you, you need, uh, during the printing, uh, to print them from the filament dryers. That's the recommended method. Uh, of course you will need an enclosure too. And after the printing, uh, for them I recommend to use these uh, vacuum storage bags. Another filament type uh, is this. They are, these are uh, scented filaments from everyone. And uh, the method is the same, similar uh, like with the PTG, but uh, during the printing it's an open air and uh, they have very pleasant smell, aroma inside and to protect this because when you open it and you print some gift for example probably you will not use the whole spool and for this I also recommend to store them in these vacuum bags and uh, in that case next time you will need, uh, use it uh, they will have similar aroma like for the first time. Okay, now let's see uh, these bags I have here are 30 by 30 centimeters until here the sealing mechanism and there is a small hole for the pump. So when you buy these bags you will get this hand pump and you will get this kind of piece of plastic that, that will have a uh, sealing of the bag. So, as I mentioned, these bags are 30 by 30 centimeters, and this is a 250 gram spool. Of course, it can fit inside without any problems. This is regular spool, 65 millimeter is the thickness. And it can also fit inside without any problems. And this is my wider spool. Uh, for some reason, plus cement li uh, I like to use these uh, wide spools. Almost 90, 88 millimeters. And I already tried, uh, it cannot fit in these bags. Okay, so uh, 30 by 30 centimeter bags, uh, good for the most of the filaments. This is very rare actually, uh, but this thickness is too big to fit inside this. And now I want to show you how to use it. I will start with this scented filament. First step of course, place it inside. Then close the sealing part.
Now just pressing with my fingers is not enough. If I miss a spot, there will be a small hole and uh, the vacuum will not stay, so air will go inside. That's why we have this small uh, plastic part. Uh, actually it can be very easily see the printed too. See the ceiling part goes between these two elements. And now I press this plastic and pull it over the ceiling part. Well, I'd like to do it twice. And now this is completely closed. And now I can start with the pumping. Very important, there is a line. And it has do not feel beyond this line. Because uh, here on this part near the valve, uh, two sides of the foil must be uh, lying on each other. And it is not regular bag, bag. Uh, there is some kind of grid, I'm not sure it will be visible on camera too. There is some kind of grid inside and this will prevent two, two sides to completely lie on each other because the air must move when I use the pump on this part, uh, the, it must suck the air even from this part here. So use it some, on a flat surface, there is some small rubber on this part, it has to lie uh, on, on the, this valve. Press it and then just pull it. Don't have to do it fast. Wait always that uh, air to be sucked from the part of the bag. And I can see, I cannot feel any air inside and uh, actually uh, it's packed so it's ready for storage. Uh, it is important that uh, to avoid any sharp objects inside or otherwise they may cut the foil. One more time but I will speed up more this video. I'm just thinking for those who are la uh, lazy to use the manual pump. I tried to use the vacuum cleaner, but I want to uh, create some adapter. And it has to line, so as you can see, this rubber must align on this part of the wave. Outer diameter of this ring is 25 millimeters, and inner diameter. 16 millimeters. Okay, so now I will create some adapter for my vacuum cleaner and to see if I use the, that machine to suck the air from the bag. So this is the pipe for our vacuum cleaner and I can take off this part here. So for this part I want to click print some adapter to, to be seen smaller diameter as on the pump. It looks like the average inner diameter is 30.7 millimeters. I'm now in Fusion 360, so this is the end of that uh, pipe on my vacuum cleaner, and inner diameter is 30.7 millimeters. And around this, I plan this uh, adapter. Let me show you in the cross section. So it will be a small cone, so here I reduce the diameter by half millimeter, so here the diameter is 30.2 and on the top is 31.2 millimeters, so it goes in, in, in this pipe and the top of this adapter is well equal like uh, end of this uh, rubber on the hand pump. And I print this uh, from the TPU. Recently I did a review of Creality Sermon D1 and I got a very good results with the TPU printing. So I use this flex filament. Here on the left side of the screen you can see my printing parameters and the object can be printed without any supports. Hmm. 
Hmm. It's almost too small. Maybe I could print some kind of shader here, but with this it could be printed without uh, supports. But I have solution for this. Let's try it. First I will start with a lower strength and then I will raise it up if necessary. Remember, don't do this for the longer period because there is no air flowing to the engine and the motor may overheat. And it works. But definitely I will redesign this to add some shoulder so to prevent to falling. This means in Fusion 360 I added this um, rim and it started under 45 degree angle so this means it can be printed without any supports. Uh, so uh, if I enable the pipe you can see even if it slap in uh, it will be holded on this rim. Well that would be it for this uh, short video. I hope the topic was not too simple but uh, several times I show these bags in my videos uh, in, also in the latest with these uh, scented filaments and I've been asked several times why, when, and uh, somebody mentioned that they use them, that just they just leak. Well, maybe that's the reason that it, you didn't use this plastic to completely seal the, the locking mechanism here. Uh, if you just press with the, your fingers, uh, that's not enough. Also, uh, check the vacuum after a few days also, because uh, even if you use this uh, plastic, sometimes if you didn't press uh, enough on some point, there the air may leak inside. In that case, uh, just uh, check again uh, the compression of, uh, the, of this uh, on this sealing mechanism, and then uh, suck the air again. And if it is repeated continuously, then, then unfortunately that bag has to be replaced. I hope I could give you some new information. Uh, if you have any additional uh, information, please let me in the comment. Um, thank you for watching and happy printing!